Hey guys, what's up? It's Kansas Hunter 86 here today with a Mossberg 520 gauge youth shotgun review. Um, now, anyways, we'll just kind of jump in here into the review. This is a Mossberg 500, like I said. Now, this is the youth shotgun version. It has a shorter stock and it's 20 gauge. The thing uh, features a 22 inch barrel and screw in chokes uh, for those of you who don't know chokes uh, dictate how wide your pattern is you can have turkey chokes uh, just a variety of different kinds of chokes this one just comes with three which is kind of usual um, comes with full which is fairly tight a tight pattern uh, then you have your modified or medium spread choke and then you have your improved cylinder, which is a very widespread shot. So um, every time you shoot, obviously, it's going to be a widespread shot blast or shot radius. But anyways, right now I have the improved cylinder choke in on this gun because I recently got a Remington 870 Express. So I'm going to be using that out in the field. And uh, I'm actually using this as a home defense weapon right now. Because I really don't think that you need all the knockdown power of a 12 gauge for a home defense weapon. Uh, now, many of you will probably disagree with that, but I guess it's just your personal preference. Now, down here, I have uh, on the far left, I have a 3 inch magnum in the mid, or the two in the middle are both uh, high brass, five shot. Sorry for any of the background noise you guys may be hearing. Uh, two light loads on the right. Now those all fit into my little side holster thing right there that holds five shots total. I just got it from Cabela's for probably 15, 20 bucks. Um, now this gun holds five in the magazine and one in the barrel, which is pretty good. I really do like that. Um, but... I mean, this thing is pretty much just perfect for home defense because you got the short barrel uh, screw in chokes, which, uh, like I said, I have the improved cylinder in, so I get that wide uh, shot radius or whatever you want to say. But right now, I'm not too sure on what uh, shotgun shell is perfect for home defense, so I put all three of these different kinds of shot shotgun shells into that holster back there, so. Uh, whenever or if it happens then I'll have my choice and then I can kind of work my way up to the three inch magnum if I have to do that uh, I hope it never happens but if so I should be ready this thing is a great gun I've I don't know if I've said this yet but I've probably only had one jam maybe I, maybe I'm not even for sure about that it was probably even my fault too, but uh, just keep it clean and it should pump just fine. But, uh, sorry, I had to pause it there for a second, but anyways, just keep it clean and it should um, it should uh, serve you just fine. Uh, it pumps a little bit hard whenever it gets dirty, but that's just the way with all pump shotguns. Uh, but anyways, it's got the youth uh, stock there. And people have said that it actually comes with two extensions on the stock. Mine did not come with that. I don't know if that's just because I bought it from a different shop than them or something. But, uh, yeah, the stock, it it's a little bit short for a grown person, you know. But, um, one second, guys. I mean, this shotgun is just fantastic. Sorry, I had to pause it again. But, um, yeah, if you just keep it clean it should serve you just fine I, I'm pretty sure I said that before but um, one thing I really don't like about this gun is the safety on top it just takes some time getting used to uh, and it's a little bit tough to get used to you know you're used to the 22's or you know just the 870's or whatever where the safety's down there by the trigger right by your finger so it's really easy well this one it's a little bit tougher. Um, 
Now, one thing that I do like about it over the 870, the 870 has the pump release right up there, right above the uh, trigger guard. And above the trigger, or uh, forward of the trigger guard is okay, but it's just not natural. Sorry for all the shaking around, guys. Um, but whenever you have the pump release right behind the trigger, I think that that's more ergonomic. Um, just for a shotgun, but I guess you can't have both. You can't have the safety down there by the trigger and the pump release uh, down or er, behind the uh, trigger guard also. But anyways, uh, yeah, I have some bluing wearing off. It's just because, you know, I've used it for five years and everything, and the pump uh, has just rubbed up against the receiver. I mean, it's going to happen. Uh, but like I said before, or maybe not, it holds five in the magazine, one in the barrel, so a total of six, and then I have my uh, holster back there that holds five, so I can actually hold 11 shells on this gun, which is pretty amazing. Uh, but like I said, 22-inch barrel, nice and short for that home defense. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been the first video on this channel. Please help us out here. Thank you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. And watch our next video next week. Uh, we're going to be coming out with some weekly videos. And we just hope that you guys enjoy them. Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.